You've got a visitor, Belle. I'd have brought flowers or grapes or something, but I didn't really know the score, so... It's all right in here, though, isn't it? Have you brought Mum and Dad with you? No, I haven't. I just, um... I heard about what happened and... I wanted to check you were all right. Guess everyone's talking about it, then. Look... I know what it feels like to have someone's death on your conscience. Jackson was different. He wanted to go. <sighs> Bad stuff happens all the time, Belle. And nobody's in charge of any of it. Katie's accident had nothing to do with you. How do you know that? <sighs> you can't take responsibility for everything that happens, Belle. You're not in charge of the universe. I never said that I was. Just don't beat yourself up over stuff that you can't control is all I'm saying. Life's going to give you a big enough kick in without you piling into help it and all. Some decent insurance, I'm telling you now. Yeah, of course we have. Got to with his driving. I was talking about medical insurance. Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Colin. Put that down right now. Look, just calm down. <coughs> Look, I I've got a couple of hundred here, right, and we'll sell up the rest later. It'll be coming out of your share. All oh, right, yeah, and how'd you work that out exactly? You were the one who put the sign on the wrong car. I know where I put it. Yeah, well, maybe if you're here when you're supposed to be, there won't be any room for confusion, would there? Oh, yeah, of course, because it's all still my fault, innit? Never you... mind whose fault it is, who's paying for my car? Oh, thank you. Wow, I feel a bit underdressed. <laughs> yeah, we don't get out much. Oh, we'll go through Roberts in there. You'll have to excuse the mess. Oh, no, you should see it stay at State of our place. I mean, this, this is like a show on this. <laughs> Hi. Hey, all right. Hiya. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Oh, follow away. Oh. Right, okay. well, uh, yeah, it's not too fancy, so don't get excited. Didn't want to come empty-handed. Alicia was going to make a pap of her. No, no, it's great. Thanks. Cheers. Here you go. Lovely. Thanks. Cheers. At least we can do say uh, say thanks for putting up with Lachlan. <laughs> yeah. Well, come through. So he's not here then. Um, no, he's uh, conned his granddad into taking him to the cinema. Yeah. Oh, he's a, he's a good kid, really. You know. Yeah. Some people find him quite challenging. Well, that's just teenagers for you, though, isn't it, eh? <laughs> oh, uh, cheers. 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 Oh, do you know what? I can't wait. I'm going to have to say something. <laughs> OK. Um, I know how good you are with people, but, I mean, let's face it, you put up with us a lot. <laughs> and you've obviously got good business acumen, so we were kind of wondering if you might want to expand your business. Well, you've got the experience, we've got the capital. <laughs> you want to sell groceries? Yeah. yeah. Well, top-end stuff. Everything under the home farm umbrella, so it's all very exclusive. And you want us to run it for you? Oh, we couldn't think of anyone better. I mean, you could run a little shop up here. There's plenty of corporate dollars to be bagged from our clients. And we could stock some products in your shop if you could find us a space. Please don't say yes if you think it might affect our friendship. I mean, we were worried about even asking. Well, you don't have to sign anything in blood right now, but what do you reckon? I mean, I think we could make some pretty decent money together. 
Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> two grand. So you come in, didn't they? Yeah. What else could I do? I had to compensate him somehow, didn't I? They had us over a barrel. Adam, you better keep an eye on the time. Yeah, no worries. I'm going after this. Got to afford to stay out even if I wasn't on curfew. Mm. Trouble in the wonderland that is scrap metal. Barely been open 12 hours and they're at each other's throats already. I'd have thought you'd be pleased. Run a business. They couldn't even run a bath. You can kiss goodbye to your poxy 5%. Well, I'm just going to say how it is, mate. Your head's not in it and it never was. I've invested everything that I had in that yard, and I honestly thought that I could rely on you. Oh, so what? I've never done anything for you now. Oh, here we go again. What are you going to do? Chuck that in my face every time we have a row? Listen, Adam, I didn't sign up to be your nanny. If you can't manage on your own for five minutes, then we've got a real problem, haven't we? So come on, then. Where you been the last couple of days, and eh? What's been so flaming important? Yeah, I thought so, mate. You're a waste of space. Hey, it's only a chuffing scrapyard. Try standing on your own two feet for once. All he's saying is stop messing him around. Your boy's out of line. And a little bit of perspective would go a long way. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and a little bit of hard work now and then might just do your boy some good. Right then, let's get you home. I'm going anyway. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah, if you're not too busy. Or maybe I need to start looking for a new business partner. And a new best mate. <laughs>